Hello guys, and welcome back to Absu once again. In the last episode we finished off the second area, and this one we're moving on through something new it seems. And this one looks to be very much different. This chain here is very new and does not match anything we have seen so far. But once again it seems we have a change in color palette. It does seem to be some kind of gradient from one shade of the spectrum to another, just like it they did in Journey. And I appreciate that a lot. It seems kind of a stark contrast, but also a very gr gradual one. I think, I think I see a sunfish. Hello! I do love the looks of sunfish, if only because they are so weird. But it seems we are coming into some more, or some less ruined places. Seems there were always ruins around, but not something that was very easy to spot, just traces of it to begin with, like the shark statue, and then building up as we go along. And I do like that. This one's blue though. You need something else for this? No. Since it's the same, just a different color. That's fine though. Let's see. That doesn't look entirely like the meditation statues from before, but maybe it is. That's not a shark, that's an eel. I think. Moray? I don't think I can meditate on that though. <laughs> that's fancy. I could... I really do like moray eels. They're very... very wild kind of, kinds of animals, but also very peaceful in a way. Um... That was a little bit too much, I think. Let's not get turned around too much. But there's our new friend. Hello. Want to come with me? I could use you. Lots of rays here as well. Maybe we can grab onto one of those and take a look around. I do see something in the corner of my eye. What is that? I didn't see too many of these in the second area. Perhaps I didn't um, pay close enough attention. Well, let's see what's in here. Eagle Ray. That's nice. I didn't notice that they say the name on the previous ones, but... Uh... Oh, hi! Little octopus in a jar. Hi. I love them hiding in the jars. They look so at home, even though the jars have nothing to do with them. I I need to get the timing done on this a little bit. Hi! You're not particularly fast, are you? But you are so beautiful. Let's see how far we can go. I wonder how far we could reach if we grabbed onto one of the orcas and helped it along. Perhaps very far. Perhaps not so far either, but I don't know. Though I do believe the um, plates of coral are the boys ahead, so maybe we should go and check out that door over there. Not over here, but in the other direction. Because, you know, when I say over here, I actually mean in the complete opposite direction. But this place is so deep. I want to see what's up ahead. What have we here? Some kind of well? There's the shark statue. Let's see what we have around. There's the sunfish. My good old friend the sunfish. What else? Blue surgeon fish. Those are cute. Those are cute with their little mouths. And... Tiny little rays. Cow nose. Why do they all have farm animal names? And what else? That's the sunfish again. And to the other things. And there's the eagle ray. What else have we around here? Juvenile Golden Trevally. Ah, they're nice. Very nice. And you are? Golden Trevally. So the little ones are a lot more yellow than the big ones then. Is that a dugong? Hang on, I see dugongs. And you. I wanted to look at the dugongs. Although you are pretty. I can't seem to look at the dugongs. Silky shark. 
You're pretty. I really didn't want to look at the orange fish. I wanted to look at the dugongs. Or the manatees. Same thing. Really. These are very pretty. You have grass growing on you. Guess that happens. Hmm. They're pretty though. Those only hammerhead shark statues. They <laughs> look. Make such cute little sounds. Whoops. Okay, time to move on. Let's see if we can go down into this well thing. And to look around and see all the things. Hello? What is that? What kind of sound is that? I do not know what's making that sound, but it was a little bit unnerving. Alright, down we go. Do we have here puffer fish? I think they're puffer fish. Let's pick up this. I would really like to get these. I've probably missed some of them already, but um, it happens. I'll just see what I can find. I do think I've found quite a bit of them though. Where are these ammonites? They are ammonites. Or maybe they have a different name in that shape. Some kind of mollusk in a shell anyway. And they are very pretty. Very pretty and very ancient. What else do we have? There's that mesh over there. I think that was the only one, or were there more? Did I get myself turned around again? Because that might very well be the case. This place is so huge though, how could I not? There is something. What did you see? Is there anything? Ah, oh, there, I see. Over by the other statue. But that, that's one of those ancient fish with the very strange name that I can never manage to pronounce. I think. I wonder if we'll see some of those. The coelocanth, I think. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Well, let's go and see what this is. Can I use this? It does seem a little bit old. But perhaps it works. It does seem very old, very rusted and very heavy. But apparently you are very strong as well. <laughs> well... Keep going then. I see. We couldn't go through the door just yet. We will need to head down into the other place as well and fix the chain. Well, I have come to appreciate your strength a lot. You seem to be very strong. Let's spin that. I think there is a rhythm to this, but I'm not entirely sure of the best way to do it. Or if it's just repeating until it happens again. Seems there is that you need to build up the speed as you go along. Well, that seems to be fine. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can find the other chain on this side. I guess we just need to follow the chain to find it, but um, yeah. Not very difficult at all. Is there anything else in here, by the way? Before we um, pull this chain and uh, open the door? I don't see anything else. Let's just do this then. Sorry. Sorry, anonymous. Though I don't know if they can think or anything, so it might not be too bad. Very nice. Though, music is a bit more dramatic now, so I don't know what that means. Sing to you. Do we need to hurry? Because I thought I saw some kind of light down below, but I don't know if that was something that I had already touched. Um, there was that thing. I did touch that, didn't I? Pretty sure I did touch that. But, was there anything else? I don't think so. No, since it was just that I saw. I had to check that. But let's go up to the door. I don't think there was anything else. 
except crashing into everything. Although I do like the swimming mechanics in this, I am not necessarily good at it. But that's just how it has to be. And let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye, manatees. You are gorgeous animals. You know that? You are very gorgeous. Right, what do we have here? Lionfish? Ah, those. Those very, very lovely things. They look dangerous, and if I remember correctly, they also are very dangerous. In terms of poison. Now, how, how, how high up does this go? Very high up, it seems. I want to explore it all. All of it. Hmm. So lovely. So lovely. You know, it's a very simplistic style, but it works very well and is masterfully put together. I really, really appreciate all about it. Everything about it. What do we have over here? This seems like a place to hide something. Is there anything? Or just a peaceful little alcove? Nothing special here, it seems. Okay, let's swim back down then. Back down and see what's around. It's a lionfish. They're enjoying freedom or something. I'm not sure if we create them or if we just release them. But it does seem a lot like we create the species with the shrines we go into. Well, let's see what's up ahead. What have we here? More sharks. And the great white ones. I think those are the only ones that have been dangerous to us. Ah, uh, seems very, very risky. I'm not liking that you give up so much light in here. Can we take a look around here, please? I want to see what we're dealing with. This is very, very unnerving. So much so. So very unnerving. Can you please get back here? Where did it go? Did it hunt something else? Would very much like it if it did. I want to lose my my little robot friends to more sharks. Not like this. I've played too much uh, shelter to appreciate appreciate all of the small things getting caught by stuff. Although those are your children in shelter, but these I like them a lot as well. And I don't want to lose them to sharks. What's this? He went in there. I'm not sure if I want to follow, to be honest. But I have a feeling I will have to. Hmm. It's very unnerving. Let's head on in this direction first and see if there's anything beyond this. There looked like there might be. Or is this just a place to hide from the shark? There is something. There's this. <laughs> Hello, octopus. Didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted the shell. Okay, let's um, let's go. Let's go and see where the shark went. Not sure if I should be swimming so much out in the open. Okay, let's stick close to the wall. Where did I go? Guys, please, please come back here. Please. Don't go so far ahead. I don't like it when you go so far ahead and get exposed in the open. It's gone. Please, please be gone. Please be gone properly. No, these ones aren't little badgers or lynxes, but... I think they seem so friendly even so. I want to see what's up ahead. With you guys. Without getting you eaten. Where are we? Another one of the shrines. 
that hammerhead statues? I think so. Seems to be a lot along the sides of this though. Is there anything out there? So far down. Okay, let's um let's explore the sides and see what we can find. Whoop! That was not what I intended to do, but okay. If you want to try and breach again, then that's fine. And can't really see anything along the sides here. There might be something out here. And there we go. I see you. That's how it usually is. When there are balconies, there's something hidden. Okay, let's go and pick this up. Then we can move down to the shrine. Lovely. Very lovely. Okay. I'm still very unnerved. The shark went into this area. And I'm not sure how to feel about that. I can't see it though. Can't see it anywhere. Okay, let's let's go and see what's up ahead then. And see what we have to deal with in this one. And here we go. What will we discover in this one? So far it has been Rays and Orcas, so I do wonder what the next thing will be. Perhaps something else big? So far we've just found big things in this one. And small things in the other ones out and about, so let's see what this will be then. So that's it. A few things bigger than the whale shark, I guess. So, one more big animal for the sea. Perhaps that's what we're doing, bringing the big ones back to the ocean again. Which would be very nice. This time we have three cor uh, corals for the place. So that seems to be exactly what they're doing. Very nice touch to it all. Let's go and say hello to a new whale shark friends. At least I think that's what they are. <laughs> hello sunfish. You had to go along as well, did you? They're kind of... Are whale shark these, uh, this size? I'm not entirely sure about the size of one. Let's go for a swim. You are gorgeous. So gorgeous. Can you swim quicker? Not sure. <laughs> Maybe asking too much of it. But oh well. I don't think you will breach very much except for going for food. So we will leave you. Thank you very much for the ride though. Such a beautiful animal. Such a beautiful one. Okay, here we go. Off to seeing what's ahead. And we should be getting to another gate through this. But let's see. Are there more murals in here? It's very dark. But that river kind of thing is new. Very new. Is that flowing in from over there? I think it is. Okay. What kind of murals do we have here? Nothing special there. But here's something. It's just one another one of those with the um See with a grain or something. Seems they're pointing us through this. And that one again. That one we've seen before. Doesn't seem to be anything new in here. Now in Journey the murals were very important to the journey onwards. And learning about the story of the place. But here I haven't found so much a story in it as um, in, in that game. But perhaps that is for the best. I mean, they should have their own essence in a way. They're very similar, but also very different. 
I do wonder what this is though. Is this the red thing we have been seeing at the bottom of um, the place? And what are you doing? Are they harvesting the um, star water? Perhaps? Let's go and see what's up above. Is there more things up above? Perhaps? It's the coral ones. And then... What do we have here? The cells and the star water to create fish. I think that's what they do. They were populating the ocean, it seems. But what was this thing down below? Whoops! Let's see if I can't stop turning around too much. Just need a little nudge and then we should be in the right direction. I would like to hear what you guys think as well about what the story is about here. I really like those kinds of very open stories and seeing what this is about. Aha! That's lovely. Is that the shells I've gathered? They might be. Can I touch them? Hello? No, they're not the shells I've gathered. There are living things in them. There are more things here now. The fish. And the little critters. Right. Let's get moving on again. That is very red. Very red against the blue. It's lovely. I do wonder what that red orb is though. I wonder if we'll figure out what it is as we go along. Okay, what sort of else of the stories do we have in this room? It's the door. What is the door? I wonder if we're supposed to go around this way or the other way. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like there are murals on all the walls. We're standing on top of the wall. Or off the top of the door. Did the coral break? Or is that just one down? Hmm. Not sure what this means. I think the door... Is the door giving the star water or is it draining it? Did they get greedy and try to take all of the star water? I'm not entirely sure. Nothing over there? I think? No, nothing. So it is very much along the same lines as Journey. People who had a very, very good power source and uh, source of getting their food and such. Who got greedy and tried to take too much. Is that the parallel uh, that would be right to draw here? I do believe I saw a shark statue. But let's see what this is first. Wow. That's one massive shark. Is that the last thing we'll have to find? So far we found the race and the orcas and the whale sharks, but not the squid and the giant shark. But I do believe they worship the giant shark, seeing as they have paintings of that all around. And yes, I think they worship those shrines. This is very interesting. I really, really like these kinds of stories. These kinds of stories you kind of have to figure out yourself as you go along. What is that? That looks like one of the things that was on one of the murals. Smaller with the shape of the door. And there is the door. Would like to figure out what those are all about. I haven't seen the shark again though. Just disappeared. That one's flashing. Did the other ones do that? I don't think so. Right, let's open you up. There goes my friends. So in the next one, we'll move on through this door again. 
and uh, see what's on the other side. So thank you very much for watching this episode of um, Absu, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again next time. So goodbye again for now, and take care.